I'm going to show you how to use the feature Google Collections. To begin, you'll want to open a new browser window or create a new tab so you're on the Google homepage. You're logged in with your school account, so you'll see your um, icon and info in the upper right hand corner. Next to that is the Google Waffle. These little nine circles are a shortcut to the different Google apps. We're going to scroll until we find collections. I've moved mine to the top so I can use it more conveniently. You might have to scroll through yours, but it'll look like this. Once you find it, click on it once to open up Google Collections. Mine's populated with some pictures, mostly of snails, that um, I've looked at before. Yours might be blank. You're going to begin by creating a new collection. So click on the button here. And for this assignment, we're going to call it the name of the person we admire for whom we're going to collect images. I'm going to name mine after Yayoi Kusama. Uh, Japanese artist that I really appreciate. So you can see that it's created a bookmark icon here with uh, Kusama's name and it's prompting me to add items to this collection. So I'll click on the blue button to start a search. I will type in again the name. I might also add photograph behind this because um, we want to, again, look for a photo of that person, um, 10 or more to be exact, and this might help narrow it down. I will click on Images to get to um, Google Images, and as you can see, that brought up a lot of photos of Kusama. So when I find one um, that appeals to me, I'll click on it. I'll get a larger preview. Don't click on that. You're going to click on the bookmark icon and then click on collections. It'll add it to my general collections by default, my favorite images. I want to put it in the um, collection that I just created. So I'll click select, pick this one and say move to Kusama. And there you can see that now my uh, Kusama folder is uh, populated with that. So again, if I want to now go look for um, some more items, I can go back to my search page, find another photo. We should probably pick this one. And again, repeat bookmark. It's important that you get the bookmark first and then collections. If you don't, it'll just take you back to your collections without saving it. So then we can hit select, move to, put it in our Kusama collection. And again, now we see that it's populated with both of those. So repeat, repeat, repeat until you have 10 or more photographs of the um, person that you admire. When your collection is complete, you're going to share it back with um, me by copy pasting it. So uh, let me show you that here real fast. You're going to click on the share icon and it's going to come up with the people that you maybe email the most. You can see I email the um, art teachers and the uh, uh, folks in the office the most, but we want to not do any of those. Instead, copy the link to share. And we can share here that this uh, link now is available for us. So I'm going to highlight it, do uh, control C to copy or command C if you're on a Mac click done, and then you'll be able to paste that into a document. Paste shortcut is control V as in Victor, and they should be ready to rock and roll.